Well, hello everybody. This is Miles Luigi. I have a random number generator that is absolutely trying to troll me right now because there's actually an ancient Super Mario World ROM hack in my collection called a Mario Legacy, which I'm playing Mario's Legacy currently for Fall of Flame, and this is a totally different ROM hack, and I actually don't know what the difference is between these versions, but evidently there's a Mario Legacy Point One. Uh, then there's like Final Demo, a whole bunch of them. It actually picked Final Demo, but I think we're going to go with this one. Mario Legacy 0.1 Super Mario Run World hack. So we're going to see what the difference is between Fall of Flames, Mario's Legacy, and Super Mario World Mario Legacy. We're actually going to watch this title screen for a bit here because it actually really, really intrigues me currently at the moment because we got not only a custom title screen, but like Mario running around here with a fire flower and a scrolling screen. Uh, killing everything here and the title screen looks ever so uh, interesting how you're using the text but all the text is like all different colors like how do you even manage that like is the tile set in the title screen by default like that where you have to type in the different letters and the different letters are intrinsically different colors wow that's Super Mario World problems <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario World problems. I, I'm gonna have to start using that phrase for a while here. Anyway, uh, enough of the demo. Um, we could do a two-player game. I don't think I've done an ancient hack with a two-player game. Here I am just kind of scratching my back and no two-player game. Somewhere in each level is a stationary enemy that sparkles. Grab it to the end of the level. Now, the question is, is the stationary enemy that sparkles was that explicitly chosen? Like, oh, look, this is level one. The stationary emblem is a uh, Koopa Troopa, and we gotta enter into Yoshi's house to see what is going on here. Yoshi's house, there's a fire flower up top. Uh, sorry, I'm not home. I have to rescue my friends. If you want to help, take this fire flower. Okay, cool. And by the way, if you put a fire flower on top of a message note block, I guess part of the fire flower now is perpetually stuck on top of the message note block. Good to know. Mario's gonna go ahead and open over to Yoshi's Island too, and in Yoshi's Island too, uh oh, SpaghettiOs, we have to hit the yellow switch pals first. Can we even hit the message note block that says we need to read the threads? To do a spin jump, oh for fudge sake, you're telling me how to do a spin jump when you're very clearly, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no escape, oh, there, there is escape. <laughs> This game keeps defying all of my expectations. Holy cow. <laughs> Escape on the left side of the screen because you missed the yellow switch pals and I guess we need to go over to Yoshi's Island. You know, we're now Mario. Point of advice to pick up a shell. Okay, good to know. Point of advice. Oh. Um, this carries on from the previous note block. Okay, times like this I need to record more of these with Higgs because I have a question for him. Can you have a message note block and you need to say a whole lot bunch of shit? Can you have a message note block that just has extended text and the extended text is, why am I not falling down here? Mario is, um, well he's walking on air and I'm just about to say, I can't say he's walking on water and pulling a Jesus, that's a thing that he's not doing. He's walking on air, which I don't even know what to call that anymore, but it appears by hitting the coin block that we have unleashed this this climbing uh, vine, and the climbing vine gets us a couple of Yoshi's coins, so actually that was kind of fruitless in our endeavor. And we have found the heads of many Rexes out to destroy Mario and get his blood. As for why the heads of Rexes are out to get Mario's blood, well, one has to wonder exactly where the... I just butchered that launch, holy cow, let me try that again, okay. As for why the Rexes were out to get Mario's blood and hopping around on their heads, well, don't you see the magic Ekrasizers that Mario has done here, he like uh, has tortured and tormented all of the Rexes like all their lives and they have all been beheaded and consequently as a fact that all of them beheaded they're now out for Mario's blood. Holy cow, how many of these Koopa Troopers are going to go down this slide? This actually looks really fun to slide. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Okay, that is just another angled platform, and what, for whatever reason, the wrong tile sets were used. Either that, or you can't have... Wait, no. Angled platform on the side of another angled platform? There was totally a Super Mario World level that did that. Chocolate Island 2, I think. The one where you get all the crazy conditions were... Oh, by the way, our enemy is Rex, but before we collect our Rex... Oh, for fudge's sake! That is a... S <laughs> that is an invisible... Invisible block. Double invisible. So invisible that even when you hit it, it remains invisible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh boy. I lost my train of thought because of the invisible invisible block. So anyway, Mario is going to go ahead and go up to the yellow switch palace. And I would like to do things in like super um, friendly speedrun mode and have Luigi go over to Yoshi's Island too. But, as we know, we need to hit the yellow switch pals in order to continue. And it's not like Luigi has anything special that he can do to get around this yellow switch palace. So, we're, we're gonna go ahead and hit this P-switch, try to collect a whole bunch of coins, and Luigi is gonna go ahead and, um, just collect a whole bunch of coins. Yeah, okay. Now the question is, oh, the question is, I noticed that there is a, uh, go back here. I noticed something. There is something up there. Ooh, okay. What that means is that I gotta make a breakthrough in the coins, which means I need to go back in time and build myself a staircase in the carrying coins with the P-Switch. You see, you're hitting P-Switch, Nangans. I'm catching up to you. Now, in order for me to make a break in the coins, oh gosh. Ugh. I need to be able to jump high enough to be able to do this. I guess I need to be big. Ah, that's a problem. That is a big problem. Unfortunately, Luigi, you are not big enough, and I thought you were the big bro. Actually, funny enough, I think Luigi sometimes calls Mario the big bro because I think Mario is technically older than Luigi. So, but Luigi's the taller one. Oh, Mario's small too. Oh, son of a gun. Unfortunately, that means I need to get myself a power-up. Unless Mario has a mushroom in his inventory. No, he doesn't. I am going to make a super mega space-time rewind. I think I got hit near the end of this level at some point. Or never? Um, 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 um. Oh, there we go. That's right. The bloodthirsty Rexes. Oh! Okay, guys. See, see you at the other end of this level. Hey, hey, everybody. So, Mario's gotten himself a little bit bigger. You know, he drank the protein shake this morning. And as a result, he's going to be able to get, yes, some coins on the ceiling. So I just have to make sure I cave a proper path for myself. And I just, is this proper enough for me to be able to do it? Nah, quite. I'm gonna need a mulligan on that, because this actually is more tricky than I thought it would be to do. I basically have to make myself kind of a cave, a stepping stone uh, cave through here. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. We're just gonna leave uh, all the coins like that. So I guess a good, solid jump from the pipe to as far left as you can do will allow you to get up to here. That gets us the coin. The coin gets us a... Uh, and what up, Mushroom? Is this literally, like, I get super, oh my gosh, I noticed the star up there. I thought I am going to unlock the secrets to the universe, and I will enter into a secret chamber where, like, I find the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Yump! The power of the switch you have turned will turn dash into solid. The power of the switch you have pushed, Miles Luigi, will turn dash into progress. Uh, your progress will also be saved. I am muddling my words. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn dashed into solid. Your progress will also be saved. There we go. Now you got it. So now that I have pressed the yellow switch, pals, Luigi can continue on. So by the way, I didn't have to re-enter that first level because there's actually a, um, uh, a fire flower in Yoshi's house. By the way, I would like to read this other. You can also do this to bounce on enemies you cannot feed with, such as potables. Are you talking about the spin jump? Possibly. I am just going to fall down in this hole to see if it's even possible to get out of. Okay, yes it is. As we have what I guess I'll call the vibration fork of poles. I, I am really curious. Um, vi vibration poles, or vibration fork is what I meant to say here, as we have the Pokey that just wants to hop around all over the place and run right into me. We have enemies here that are not acting like, well, said enemies really should like. Pretty soon we're going to see a charging Chuck try to f 
swim at me like a cheap sheep or a lotus plant. Well, the lotus plant is acting like a lotus plant. Anyway, what I'm thinking of is a tuning fork. So, oh, by the way, that is the end of the level, and the end of the level looks like a pile of dirt. But before we hit the pile of dirt, we're just going to see what the end of the level really has in store for us. Not much of anything, so now let's go ahead and touch the pile of dirt. Yes, Luigi, walk past the Koopa Troopa. The Koopa Troopa can never defeat you. <laughs> okay. Lost my train of thought again. Shoot, darn it, I had a good point going on in my train of thought. Tuning fork, okay, thank you. Tuning fork. If you have a tuning fork of height, that tuning fork in that level, I'll go ahead and show it to you again, guys, so you can take real close look at here. All right, so this first thing of this level, it's a tuning fork, okay? These two triangles. A tuning fork of this height and this width I suppose you need to know the material it's made out of, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna say it's made out of plain dirt. Uh, I don't think there's ever a consistent plain dirt. If you could do the calculation of the plain dirt, that would be awesome. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Point of advice, the big coins are dragon coins. Collect five, get an extra one up. Uh... Sure. I was just gonna say, I thought our ROM hack adventures had ended, but actually, this level appears to, instead of being completely new, it appears our ingenious Legacy of Mario ROM hacker has decided, you wanna know what? I am just going to take the level and use it as a base for my, my current level, use the exact same art assets and everything. And you wanna know what? On one hand, it's cool to be inspired by the level design of Super Mario World, but it's not exactly cool. What the hell is this? It's a block that kills me. It's a block that kills me. Can the shell kill the block? Can the shell kill the block? It jumps up really high. Why is there a... Okay, well, it's an enemy. What enemy has this behavior in Super Mario World? Um, good question. The ninjis don't act this quickly, so it can't be a ninji. What else stands in place and just does this? Charging Chuck technically does, but these aren't Charging Chuck. Charging Chuck would be making funnier noises than that. Yeah, that is definitely not a Charging Chuck behavior. Huh. Oh, hey, look, the the mysterious enemy at the end is not a mysterious enemy, it's just a question mark block, so let's go ahead and touch it. Okay, uh, I, back to the tuning fork. If plain dirt isn't specific enough, then we'll just say it's made out of steel. A tuning fork of that height and that width made out of steel. What is its tuning frequency? I could probably find a formula online to solve that question for me, but isn't it more fun to give the YouTube audience a question? Well, you gave them a question about physics. There's really only a couple of people in the YouTube comments who will actually be able to answer that question. Spin jump on the face blocks and super form our fire floor perimeter to break them. Okay, so basically that block is telling me that we can do this, but watch out, because now we're stuck spin jumping through this oh gosh okay thank god there's solid ground up here hallelujah okay so it appears the theme of this level is to force a spin jump and then we have to make sure we yep and um yeah we're dead I, I am just gonna happily use my save state to give this another attempt because while theoretically on paper you're like ooh this is a brilliant level idea i need to just hold left and just not stop holding left on paper this level idea is like oh my gosh this is a brilliant level idea in practice it's uh not necessarily the best level idea maybe for a secret exit you would have something where you'd have to do something like this not this long though because like i, I gotta stop to hit that block and then i have to regain my momentum it, it, it's like those uh if any of you guys have ever seen it, it's one of those puzzle balls that you can purchase where like you have like this big ball and you have a marble that you need to guide through uh, the entire ball maze and like the ball the, the big ball itself you know has little marble installed and like a maze that you have to take through it and you basically have to turn the big ball around to guide the little ball throughout the whole maze there are points which you cannot see in every area if you run through them you get a one up oh okay yes it's like the uh best example I can think of actually is in this level originally not before it was edited you uh, ran on top of a mushroom hill that you couldn't see the top of and you can get a one-up by doing that I just fell down a hole and died let me try that again uh, where did my train of thought leave off of sometimes I am losing my train of thought a lot tonight or today or whatever time of the day you're watching this everyone we go Luigi <laughs> I, I just feel like I'm zooming off at 200 cc speeds here as this level design just looks awfully familiar I'm just gonna 
do that and we have a whole bunch of springboards down here now here's the thing is there a way to get one of these springboards out of one of these holes maybe well with a koopa troopa jump i certainly can though the game has completely suffered over the existence of four springboards and it just went off oh, fudge this i am i am totally gonna die and i am gonna render at like whatever this frame rate is so i definitely saw some clouds above me and i have to wonder where those clouds ultimately led to but i guess it'll be a mystery for everyone <laughs> okay let's go ahead and get this exit why don't we go ahead and finish the world and then unless there's like something amazing beyond the world that should actually probably do it for this ancient rom hack back in the rom hacking days i think that's probably the biggest reason why i love doing this episode because it's like remember when lunar magic was a new tool this is what like everyone was doing with learn your magic and this is like what everyone does for their first super mario world rom pack hello mario enjoy your time in my castle just remember everything is exactly what it seems iggy koopa so iggy koopa is telling us that everything is what it seems so the fireballs are fireballs and oh <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, obviously Iggy Koopa would be one to lie to us and then tell us the opposite of... Yeah. Out of curiosity, this is like an invisible... Oh, look at this. I'm clever. So by doing that, unfortunately, that just got me a Dragon Coin. It didn't give me anything spectacular for anything. It made it me more likely to run to a fireball. And I thought we were going to... I just fell down a hole and died. I just fell down another hole and died. No, I don't know what's solid and what's not. No. Okay, I'm just going to quit jumping to the left and I'm going to jump to the right. So, and I'm going to quit. Yeah. So it appears that uh, our solid platforms and our not solid platforms have completely traded places. But... This is why I like doing the ancient ROM hacks for you guys, because back in the day, Lunar Magic was a new tool, and this is what a lot of people made. This was the majority of your Super Mario World ROM hacks, and I... Part of the reason why I do ROM hacks as a series is because I really enjoyed watching the frick out of people doing these ROM hacks, and I kind of want to bring that joy to back to some people who still enjoy this stuff. M make it so you guys have someone you can go to who at least plays these on a semi-consistent basis. So, here we go, and that brings us to the boss store, but I'm going to do the Is This Death? That is indeed death, so Iggy, you are not what you seem, so chances are I'm going to bounce on you, and then I'm just going to instantly die. <laughs> It's like if we're playing Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, and Iggy actually isn't Iggy in the Koopa Clown car. He's Little Mac, and he has a KO punch, and I'm at like 14% damage, so then he KO punches me, and then instantly kills me at like 14%. And then I smash my head into the TV because of frustration. Mario's escaped the nightmarish castle of Iggy Koopa, who now resides deep within a lava lake. He takes one of Yoshi's friends, unable to hatch from their egg, and moves on. I like the use of the word there, because there is normally a plural noun, but in this sense it's actually used um, as an androgynous pronoun. There. Because we don't want to use he or she, because he or she just sounds awfully weird. I can't be the only one who thinks that. If you say uh, he or she was not able to complete their driver's exam, it's like he or she, they were not able to complete their driver's exam. You see, it's still like talks sense and it makes sense and don't it plain any different but yet yeah, english teachers frown upon because it's like they they're only pronouns that are plural you must refer to more than one person it's like we can use the terms to refer to somebody who doesn't have a gender and prefer not to tell us their gender or something that doesn't have a gender like yoshi <laughs> Yoshi doesn't have a gender. Need proof? Just look at Yoshi, and I will use your imagination. Please use your imagination, everyone. So, that will do the end of Mario Legacy, not the one by Fall of Flame, by... Who made this ROM hack, if I may ask? I'm going to, uh, yes, Donut Plains 2. I will, uh, if I enter that level, I will surely get a YouTube content ID'd <laughs> really horribly, so let's not enter into that level. This was made by... Who knows who? Wow, we have an unknown author here. Fall of Flame, where were you when you made this? Was this the original Mario Legacy? I'm willing to bet you it's not, but uh, just out of curiosity. Anyway, uh, this has been another ancient Super Mario World ROM hack. 
Uh, this series is usually a series that like comes about because I'm either taking a break in my current ROM hack, recording schedule gets weirded up, or I like doing this in between ROM hacks. So you can usually expect this series to update like once every month, couple months or so, whenever it ends up happening. <laughs> I may have to rename the series at some point because I do only have like 283 ROM hacks and I want to say out of all of those a lot of them have like duplicates or triplicates or quadruplets or in this case there was what like six of them with the same name so ultimately there's probably only around a hundred unique hacks in this folder that Higsby gave me a long time ago so for all you know in like 2028 uh, the Ancient Super Mario World ROM hack series will have to be retired, and then what am I going to do? I will do Ancient New Super Mario, no, Ancient Mario Maker, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do at that point in my life, but let's go ahead and watch Mario run at the bottom of the screen. And uh, yeah, this has been Miles Luigi. See you next time.